the 2018 video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you brush strokes and the new symmetry effect or paint symmetry. Now, first thing to do, just quickly go to Photoshop over here and preferences and go down to here, technology previews. There's an option here, enable paint symmetry. Just set that on and click OK. So once you've done that, go over here to the brush tool. Now, not all of the brush tools will work with this paint symmetry. Some do, some don't. So artistry doesn't work. Paint, this one, brush tool, most of them do. They're, but obviously if you go for some of the more slightly unusual brushes, it will turn around and tell you. Just, just doesn't work. So um, just if it does that, it just comes up with a little dialogue, says it won't work. Okay, so select that and you'll notice over here, there's a little symmetry, little there. So you click there and you can see all the various symmetry options you've got. Now there's new vertical, new horizontal, etc. Now, just gonna go for new vertical first. So click there. You'll see the color there, you might have a different color. Obviously it could be green, blue, whatever you've set your path color, you can set the path color. So I've got it as red. So as soon as you click OK, then that will go and it just go back to black. So you also can see it over here, so you can see the path. It's just a standard path. So vertical symmetry, click OK. Now what you can do, just go here and you can just paint there, brush, and you can see it just so go further away, you can see, and then you go there, you can see, you can just draw it out. If you cross over, it just makes it obviously like a crisscrossing over there, but you can just think, or you can just parallel along the lines like that, just go down there, and it will then create the design like that. So you can see, as you go further and further out, you can see it doing that. Right, now, there's other options with this. So if you've got the brush tool, just go over here, you can say new horizontal, dual axis, diagonal. They're all fairly similar in many ways, but uh, I'm just gonna go for, show you new vertical, but what you can do is transform it. So it actually becomes horizontal as well. So you can just move that around. You can position it, click okay. And then once you've got it there, you can then paint there. And you can see again, it goes that way, or if you go paint that way, you can go there, okay. I'll say up and down there, just scribble along there. It's a bit of practice just to, to work it out. And different brushes will obviously create different effects to things. But again, that's like you can transform it. So at that point, transform symmetry, and you can drag that around if you want, and then just continue painting there. You can see over here in the past, it's there. You can also remove it. You can hide the symmetry or turn the symmetry off. You can also get the last use symmetry as well. So hide symmetry or show. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm gonna go for now a new dual axis. You can see that there. Now what that does, <coughs> sorry, you can actually, oops, bring up brushes, just paint, and you can see now. Now it doesn't actually suddenly change all these other different designs here. You can actually see that doesn't suddenly become symmetrical. So what you've got before, that's it, it's there. Now, this will be symmetrical, so you just apply it out like that, you can make it, and of course you can circles and do other things, obviously to be slower than that maybe, maybe draw faces, all those sort of things, which you can do, and of course you can also transform it as well. So if you, let's say, decide you don't want that, you can just then move it over here and put it there, and then continue like that. So just draw it over there, symmetry over there. Now, just gonna remove all that because it's getting a bit messy. And you can also use various new diagonal, which again, much the same as probably the horizontal, obviously, and the vertical, so you can just move it around. Okay, do that. What you can then do is a new wavy. Now, this one's a slightly more interesting. You can again, just go around here, and you can see you can run. Now, it's slightly more odd when you actually go further and further out. You see the effects and he starts going over here. So it's, it's a bit sort of, it takes a bit of practice exactly what the result will be in each of these, with each of these curves and different designs. But obviously the dual ones are a bit more obvious. But you can create some really interesting designs just by just doing that. Just maybe not the greatest of brushstrokes, but anyway, that's there. 
There's also a new circle, new spiral, new parallel lines as well. So you can just then press return and just create some interesting parallel lines. Okay, so that's a run through of that. Now, there is at the end of all that, there's actually also another option. And I'm just gonna to go to that one last. And that's quickly, it's just over here, you've got pen tool. I'm just gonna, could go with the curvature tool, but I'm just gonna go with pen tool, just quickly show you this one. But it's just basically using, I say, and again, depending on the color, you might have got different settings for your color. And obviously set that now for 2018. So just go like that. And now what you can do, you can actually go to the brush over here and you can go there and you can make symmetry path. You make that symmetry path and just go around there or you can just go up here as well. Selected path. So. Now, again, this is definitely one that requires some practice and you can go along, but you can create some interesting and very unusual designs just by this but you'll notice that the effect is challenging at best depending on how more complex but you can really use it to create some interesting designs down there you can see again you can run down like that but then sometimes you get that weird sort of break as it works out that that's right anyway obviously you can create maybe custom shapes you can do a whole range of different designs and i'm just going to quickly show you so you go to custom shapes, custom shape tool, and there's one of my custom shapes. These are ones that are available on the graphic extras website. Just select one like that, go over here, path, and just draw that, and then just go there, make symmetry path. And it comes up with a little panel. Does just ignore that. I don't know why it says it. You can also just say don't show again. Because obviously it's a custom shape tool. I mean, obviously clearly you are not going to use a custom shape tool with brush symmetry, but it comes up with that panel so just ignore that and then just go over here and then you can see now you've got this thing but you can draw around let's say parallel and work on thing i'm certain with a bit of trial and error you can actually generate some interesting designs just by using custom shapes as well as the more standard pass with this lovely new feature from photoshop photoshop cc 2018 i found this tutorial of interest Thank you much.